Let's go back to 1639. In 1639, Yarmouth was incorporated as part of Plymouth Colony. And since that time, Yarmouth has been home to farmers, whalers, and since the 19th century, lots of tourists. I'm here today in South Yarmouth at Girardi's Cafe, home to some of the best Italian food on Cape Cod. Melt in your mouth, gnocchi. Tell me the name of one of your chickens. And Girardi's is known not only for catering to the summer tourists, but for being open year round to locals and visitors alike. Hi, Alika. Hi, Diego. What are you going to show us today? Well, today we're going to make our homemade spinach and ricotta capoletti pasta. And then we're going to make a 16 ounce veal chop parmesan. I love the mixture. Let's go. All right. So we're going to roll out some of our homemade potato gnocchi. We're just going to cut strips and then little bites and then we'll roll them. And all our homemade pastas, we use our chicken's eggs. So we're going to just cut some circles out. We'll get our spinach filling. Not too much so it'll fit. And then you can do this with me. We take it and we'll fold it in half. Dunk it in. You're doing good. You're doing A fine. little came out the just middle. squeeze it. Yeah, okay. that's fine. Okay. And then we're going to take the ends and we're just going to fold them together. It's a capoletti, which means little hat. So like this? It little looks, hat? It looks great on you. We have this beautiful 16 ounce veal chop and that'll take a minute. And while that's cooking there, we'll get our gnocchi in the water. So Diego, why do you leave the bone in in the veal parmesan? The bone stays in for more flavor and presentation. Okay, so this is our homemade marinara that we make every day. And then we're just going to put some parmesan cheese, some basil, spread that out. And now you're putting it in the oven? All right. Yep, for about five minutes. We're going to take some marinara. We'll toss our delicious gnocchi that we just made. And we also have some of our house vegetables that will go on top. Okay, so we're going to put our gnocchi down. We're going to grab this delicious, juicy veal chop. And we're going to top it with some of our house vegetables. You're good to go. In honor of the chickens, your, your chickens, I'm going to try a piece of this gnocchi and hold on. Melt in your mouth, gnocchi. Tell me the name of one of your chickens. I guess that would be from Mabel. Mabel, thank you so much for helping to make this gnocchi delicious. And what is your perspective? As far as I'm concerned, it's one of the best Italian restaurants on the trip. This is a great place, an upscale Italian food, creative, and it has the cleanest kitchen I've ever seen in my life. The wait staff is fantastic, the food is fantastic. It's one of those places where if someone asked you for a recommendation, this is definitely one of the places you recommend. The food is really good. What's your favorite dish? The chicken parm. I've come here with all sorts of different things. I, I don't eat meat. Um, you try not to have gluten. They've got all sorts of tricks up their sleeves and it's always delicious. I would say one of the things that I, I hear from friends in the area is that they'll come here on date night, but they'll also bring their family. Diego, on a nightly basis, will do specials that are just amazing. Chef Diego's motto is, if you're not striving, you're diving. Thank you so much for talking with us today, Sasha. Thank you for coming, I appreciate it. And you and your husband, Diego, are owners of Girardi's. Tell us the history of the restaurant. Um, let's see, it all started with my, my in-laws and they had a restaurant on Cape Cod. So we just all both worked at their restaurant and then we just decided after we graduated that we were gonna start our own restaurant too. So you have a great support from the community and a loyal following. We love them and they love us, so it kind of works out great, you know? And what kind of special events do you have? Sometimes we do wine dinners in the off season and the community loves it. I always email people and let them know about it, so it's great. Sasha, my favorite part, tell us about the dishes here. So we have the rigatoni bolognese. The rigatoni is homemade in-house and the bolognese sauces as well. And then we have the uh, seafood Diablo. It's made with homemade spicy marinara Diablo sauce by Diego. So I have a homemade meatball appetizer. It's a meatball Parmesan. It's with uh, marinara sauce made by my husband. It's topped with melted mozzarella, with the crab cakes. It's with an orange liqueur cognac sauce. And they're really cool because they're spiky and different than other crab cakes around. The haddock milanese with the spinach and the homemade risotto. We have an appetizer here with the burrata and a uh, prosciutto, homemade caponata, and then we have grilled ciabatta bread, and then we have the cannolis. Cannolis are stuffed with a homemade filling with a little bit of marsala wine sauce. It has, we can do like almonds or chocolate chips. 
so many options to choose from, Sasha. I don't know where to start. Thank you for your time. Yeah, thanks for having us, and I appreciate you coming in. Old world Italian, blended with new world creativity, equals perfection. And don't forget, as Chef Diego says, if you're not striving, you're diving. And that's my perspective. Hey, New England, what's your perspective? Girardi's Cafe in South Yarmouth, Mass.